Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an R logic gate. Before we continue, it's best to show you the truth table. So I have uh, two inputs, A and B, I have an output X. And the point to note here is that when A and B are low, we get a low. But otherwise, when A or B are, are high, you get a high. A or B are high, you get a high. And when A or B are both are high, you get a high. Now, in order to get um, highs only when either of the inputs are high, you need an exclusive R, which I'm not going to show you how to build because it involves um, basically using a, a number of different gates. You can't just build it from a, uh, we'll say, like from three or four transistors. It'll probably involve about ten. So, the circuit symbol for an R gate is, is this symbol here. It's similar to an AND, except it's kind of got the, the curly back. So, the two inputs A and input B and the output X. Now, the, the Boolean symbol for R is a plus, so it's A, R, B is how you would read that. Down here, I have the circuit diagram for an R gate. Note, I'm using the 9 volt high, which is not normal uh, or not common. I'm using that because I have a battery. It's just easy to get a 9 volt battery. And I have a 0 ground or a 0 volts at ground. Now, the points to note here are I'm using 600 ohm resistors uh, here, here, and here. I'm using a three mil actually I'm using a five millimeter LED and I'm using two bipolar junction transistors. Just a quick recap, so there's your BJT, okay you have a base, collector and emitter. The emitter is the one with the triangle on it. The ones I'm using here are BC five four sevens, which is also called a two N two 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 transistor. I'm just gonna write in the values of my resistance. Just, just, to, just to make life easier, okay? So I have 600 ohm resistors there. So let's go ahead and build it. So here is my breadboard, which I'm sure you've seen before. Now, it may look a bit, a bit busy here at the moment, but that's because, as usual, I've put in some wires already just to make life easier for me. The points not here, here are as follows. I have a, a line down here, which will be my low line. I have a line along here which will be my high line. I have my 9 volt battery, uh, the black wire from that being my, my ground or low and my red wire here being high. Now once just once again I'm using conventional current, I'm going to deal with conventional current which assumes that the, the, the electrons are moving from positive to negative rather than actually what's happening which is the, 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 the opposite. Right, so the first thing we're to do is we have to let's say, construct our first transistor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight I'm going to make a, a, a line going from high and kind of extend it a small bit because it's going to be going into the collectors of both transistors. So, I'm not sure we can see that here. So, we'd see there down, this is my high line. That orange is part of my high line. And then it goes into the green wire, into this gray wire, and into this blue wire. Like that. And that is. this wire here on my circuit diagram. Next thing to do is to put in my first transistor. So once again, just a quick recap on the transistors. That's the transistor there. You should be able to see on the right side it is rounded. On the left side as you look, it's flat. Okay, if you keep the flat side to you, you have the collector on the left, the base in the center, and the emitter on the right. I will always have the flat side to the left of the, the video as you look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the collector of that transistor high. This brown wire here represents the uh, is going into the base of my transistor which is donated by this wire here and I'm going to put a, re a resistor 600 ohms into that and I'm also I'm going to leave the outputs A and B disconnected because I would like to be able to play with them or you, I suppose use them to verify the true table. So here's my 600 ohm resistor and it's going from the base in series with that into this green wire which is disconnected which is my input A. So what I've done so far is I've wired up this transistor here so I have my input A which is the green wire, I have my 600 ohm resistor and I have my high line coming into the collector. Next I'm going to wire my second transistor. Similarly I'm going to put in the collector here going into this wire and the base uh, wired as normal. So, 
Once again, here's the transistor. Well, actually, that's probably better. You can see with the light that the light is on on the the rounded side, and the flat side is. I can't really see it there. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in. Once again, the brown wire is the base. And the base wire is normal with my resi resistor of 600 ohms in series. This yellow wire here represents input B, which is disconnected for the moment. Thus far, I've put in this transistor with my output in, or my base. Right, which is the input here as such. Next I'm going to put, or I've also actually put in, I've put the collector actually in series with this line here. So I'm just going to give you a quick close-up of that. So we have the high line, we have this green wire, this grey wire and this blue wire together make up this line. All right. I have, get that in focus please, it's like, I have the collector here, the collector here in series at high, the base on the brown wire here, and from there I have it onto the resistor, which will go into my input A. Similarly, transistor number two, I have the base here, and uh, the, the, the resistor at, as normal. Note that high wire here is going into the collector, just there. Alright, so we'll continue with that. Next part I'm going to do is I'm going to ground my emitter on transistor 2 through a resistor. So here's here is this yellow wire is coming out of the emitter. So I'm going to put a resistor in series with that. In series with that, going to ground. Now just a point to note to make life easier. I've actually I'm using a number of wires here. So I actually have a, I've, this is a separate point. I could easily have just went resistor and a single wire, but I actually wanted this break in the circuit here. And the reason that is, when we go down to here, we'll see that it's it's that is representing this point here, and I want to break there because it just makes life easier for me. Next, I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect up the emitter of transistor one to that that point again. So. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a big long green wire because it gets in the way. And it's going from the emitter oh, sorry, the emitter, not the collector, the emitter and it's going into this point here. Right to show you that then, right? We have if that gets in focus for me. There's the emitter in series of this green wire, which is going to this point here, which as we said a moment ago, is equivalent, or is, there's the emitter, there's the, the wire, and into this point here. And we're very nearly, fi nearly finished. Next part to do is to make the output. So the output is going to go from this point through a 5mm LED to ground. So like I've said, this point here, where I've got the green wire, the red wire, and my, my resistor, represents this, this kind of junction. This blue wire is also coming out of it, going into my red wire and down to the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my resistor here in series with that. Or not my resistor, sorry, my LED. My 5mm LED. So we have this big junction here. Coming out of that junction, we have the blue wire into my LED and going down to ground. So it's time to test the truth table. Just a quick reminder of what it is. We have it should be high at all stages except when both inputs are high. Both inputs are low, sorry, not both inputs are high. As you can see, A is high A is low, B is low and I'm getting a low. A is high, B is low and I get a high. A is low, B is high and I get a high. And this after coming out. And when A or B are high or both, I get a high. That is how you make an R gate.